How you doing, comic and comic card fans? We got the Love and Rockets first 50 box set that came in. And um, yeah, excited. Excited to have this. Um, just wanted to do a quick first impression. I actually wanted to do uh, uh, an unboxing, but my rig is not set up to really do this well. This this thing is huge. Um, it's a little, you know, bigger than normal. And so um, I'm kind of just, you know, playing it by ear, but just want to get something out there. Um, you know, just to show everybody, you know, what, what they can expect to get, um, came in extremely well-packed, uh, box within a box. And then this, you know, the actual set wrapped in, uh, you know, um, brown kind of wrapping paper. So it was you know, packed tightly from Fanagraphics. I ordered this from Organic Price Books. Um, and yeah, I mean, no damage, nothing. Uh, you know, it was it was packed well enough that um, you guys shouldn't have to worry about kind of any shipping damage. But yeah, I mean, it looks great. Well put together. Um, so happy to have this thing. We'll take a look at the first um, volume and, and the last to see kind of what sort of extras are in here. Um, yeah, so let's take a look. All right, so here we have the first volume. Uh, covers issues one through five. If you look, the books are slightly larger than the original comic. Um, I'm assuming the pages are about the same, just, you know, the hardcover. Um, it's going to be a little bit bigger. Um, but yeah, what you're getting is, uh, you know, essentially just reprints of, and collected reprints of, of every single issue. Of the first 50 issues um, you can see it's like that first page of the cover and I'm assuming the back covers are like a thick glossier paper and then you have like a matte um, you know high quality thick paper for the interiors and so you're going from issue number one first one through five in this first volume and you're working your way through the first 50 you get to read uh you know love and rockets as it as it came out uh you know all three brothers and their stories it's amazing i mean it's not going to be anything kind of new or mind-blowing it's just you know a, a lot of People are unsure, you know, when they start reading or, or think about reading, like, hey, where do I start? Um, the collections or the trades, you know, kind of group stories together, um, you know, uh, separated by, you know, each brother. And, uh, and so, you know, this gives it to you, right, you know. How the stories came out essentially you know and uh you, you basically can start from the first volume and, and work your way all the way through um to get everything from that entire first 50 issues which is the first volume um you know they they're on what are they on kind of the fourth set of volumes now there was um um like a penny century run 
uh, volume two run of Love and Rockets, uh, which was kind of like standard comic size. Then there was like a trade, thicker trade, new stories, uh, Love and Rockets. And then, you know, what they're currently on. So I guess that's volume four. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, you're, you're, you know, same size, um, you know, same kind of interiors, whatever comes with the Love and Rockets, you know, like these end pages, ads, um, letters pages, back cover, uh, you know, basically going through as it came out. And so I'm partial to this issue, number two where Jaime comes in and, you know, changes comics forever. Um, yeah, it's amazing. As a fan, um, how do you not get this? You know, I guess if you have, you know, all of the floppies, um, you know, you might say there there isn't a huge need, and maybe you, you know take them out and read them every once in a while. But um, you know, this nice hardcover, um, great binding, just just you know, amazing treatment. The the treatment that uh, this series deserves for you know what it's. The impact it's had on comics um, yeah I mean just you know collecting uh, you know the pinnacle of comics you know and uh, amazing that that Fantagraphics did this um, a must-have I think for any fan and you know what like if you have the money um you know you and your comics fan is just a great way to to just dive in you know you have no excuses you just start from one read the first 50 and then and then you can figure it out from there um it's the heartbreak soup story um Yeah, Maggie vs. the Maniac. Amazingly fun superhero story. Um, page from here. Recently got auctioned off this page right here for a considerable amount of money. Uh, the original art. But yeah, I mean, um, no disappointment whatsoever here. It's uh, incredible that, that this finally came in. We've been waiting forever. So, you know, this is the first uh, volume, first five issues. Uh, let's take a look at the last one. So this last volume is... Um, you know, essentially, uh, you know, a bunch of commentary, different like news articles, interviews. Here's the original um, cover, with, like a little reddish tint to it. But, you know, articles from uh, obviously Gary Groth. Here you go. Critics, clippings, comics, capers, covers. Yeah, really just kind of going through, you know, the history of the comic, you know. Um, and yeah, I think oh, as the years pass, um, you know, there are going to be more reviews, um, critical kind of analysis of just how important groundbreaking 
um, you know, this book is and was. And so, yeah, I mean, here inside, you know, some of the history, some of the various articles and magazines, um, some, you know, interviews uh, with Jaime and Gilbert. Um, magazine articles. Yeah, this is just awesome history. This is history right here, you know? Um, so, you know, you're not going to get this, you know, when you're floppies, obviously. Um, but, you know, giving the respect that Los Bros deserve, um, Seminal work, uh, completely probably underrated at this moment because they've been at it for so long and because, uh, you know, they're, it's taken for granted. I think it's clear that, you know, their work is taken for granted because they've produced so consistently over 40 years, you know, and so... Um, you know, a lot of attention comes to kind of the new up-and-comers. Um, but, you know, they've been chugging along, making the best comics out there uh, year in and year out. And, uh, yeah, I mean, you, here we got some, um, you know, some other shorter stories. I'm not sure where they all were published. I'm familiar with them, and they, they end up being collected in, um, you know, bunch of the trades or um yeah and then we have some like you know pinups Oh, we have a full magazine here, Brain Keepers. So Mario gets some of his due in here. Um, yeah, I mean, it's just a celebration of Los Bros. And, uh, you know, well-deserved. Good job, Fanagraphics, for getting this done. Um, hopefully, you know what, like, it, it might be harder, you know, kind of format-wise, size-wise with some of the other volumes, uh, like the other series, but, um, you know, I'd love to see all of it collected, you know? Um, and maybe even, like, you know, their, their individual runs, Individual meaning Jaime and uh, Gilbert's runs reprinted because um, a lot of those. I mean, I have I have the nice hardcover um, collections of Locas and Palomar, um, you know, but they go out. They're out of print, and then now if you want to buy it, you know, you have to pay. 80, 90, 100 dollars, you know, for each of them. And, uh, you know, I, I think these guys deserve to be in print, you know, and I don't know how many of these box sets were produced, but, um, you know, feels like it's not gonna stay in print, you know, it's, it's kind of probably maybe, you know, get one more crack at a reprint if there's, the demand there, but, you know, if you're thinking about it, um, to me, it's a no-brainer. Um, yeah, I mean, this is uh, all-time comics, you know? And um, collected in, in, in one of the best, you know, formats imaginable. And... Uh, 
yeah, I mean, can't go wrong. I'm, I'm, I, you know, I, I'm so happy uh, that this came in, and uh, you know, hopefully you guys can take a good look and and see if it interests you. But um, you know, the price tag is kind of high, uh, four hundred for the set. There are probably going to be some discounts at um, in stock. Uh, organic price books had a good deal. I think they had were at thirty percent off. In stock might be at like thirty percent off when this is out on Tuesday. Um, yeah, but you know, I, I'd say go out and pick it up, man. If you have any interest whatsoever in in these comics, this is a great way to start. And uh, and then you have this beautiful box set. You know as part of your collection so thanks for watching uh, subscribe if you like what you're seeing uh, really appreciate you guys watching yeah take it easy bye